here is another request from one of our viewers who has a sagging set of stairs. The stair stringers are sagging and they don't want to remove them. They want to repair them. So here it is. And of course, what we're looking at here is a straight stair stringer. Let's go ahead and throw in a curved and sagging stair stringer. And even though this might be an extreme case, it's still going to provide you with enough information to figure out whether or not you want to remove and replace all of the stair stringers with new stair stringers or use the method I'm going to suggest in this video. So again, we have a sagging stair stringer that would be difficult to raise into its original position. Some sagging stair stringers will simply require you to add a structural support like this one here after the stair stringer has been repositioned. And something like this might also require a structural footing or even a wall if you can build it instead of using an individual post and footing for each one of the stair stringers. So the first thing I'm going to suggest, even though this is going to be difficult for some of you, will be to cut a stair stringer that is going to work. And I know for our particular viewer, this is going to be difficult. However, I do not see any other way to do it. And after you have cut the new stair stringer, firmly secure it with screws to the damaged stair stringer. Then we're simply going to cut some scrap blocks of wood and position them in a way to where they can be traced on the other side with a pencil. Just simply place it like we have here sitting on top of the existing stair stringer. And then once it's in place, just grab a pencil and trace a few lines onto the blocks. And that would end up looking something like this. And then you're simply going to cut the blocks to fit. Now I don't know if this one here is gonna work as good as either this method here or this method up here where we're using vertical blocks here with either a filler block in between them or having a block go over the lower one. So we have this method here, this method here, and then we have this method here. Or we can place the blocks on top of the stringers like this and then fill this piece in later. So again, we're going to be attaching a new stair stringer to the existing one and then using it to calculate the lengths of blocks that we are going to securely fasten to the existing stair stringer with either screws, some type of building hardware, or maybe even plywood. And I won't be able to provide you with a preferred method because it's going to be better to cut new stair stringers and replace the damaged ones. And of course, the last thing I need to point out is that these are only suggested repair methods. They might not be approved by your local building authorities or engineers.